which kind, which part of the community do you gravitate more to? Kasi, uh, parang saan, sandali lang. Ha? <laughs> kasi ano, kasi, well, are you busy? Are you busy doing something? Ako? No, no man. Oh? No. Yeah, okay, I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to get to know my co-host a little per- more personally. Ayan. Oh. Ayan si Miss Liora. Hello. Ayan. Hi, Liora. Ah. Oh. Uh, pahabol. May kape ka, Miss Liora? Hello. 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 Ano, rinig mo kami? Mahina. Teka lang po. Mahina. Mahina. Ah, <laughs> Eh, yung ano, uh, no way, which uh, part of the community do you gravitate into? Sa mga CPAs, mga licensed professionals din ba? Kasi, for example, me, mas, ano, mas, uh, mas malapitin ako sa, ano, sa mga OFWs. What about you? Ah, si Anna, mga ako, moms, kumbaga. Ako, malapit ako sa mga, ano, sa mga daddy and mommy figures. Yes. Seriously? Because in ginagawa... Okay. Because ginagawa nila akong anak. And, ayun. Uh, ah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Mas ano ako, mas, parang mas free ako nakakapagtanong kapag ganun yung parang setup namin na nanay-nanayan ko, tatay-tatayan ko, mm. and then, lahat ng mga tanong ko, pwede kong iba to kasi syempre, magulang ko sila, di ba, sa online world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. Oo nga, no? Oo. Uh, We do have a different uh, situation, you and I. Kasi ikaw, you're free to ask people. You're considered an expert already, huh? <laughs> you have to keep that in mind. <laughs> you're considered an expert already. Nandito ka sa, ano, eh. Nandito ka sa FCC. Yes. And yet, uh, yun nga, yung, uh, you are free because of your age. You are free to ask people around. Yes. Uh-huh. And you know, bini baby baby ka nila. Whereas sa akin naman sa age ko, and so in my foreseen ano uh, image parang ako tong pinagtatanungan so <laughs> hindi ako pwedeng magtanong kumbaga <laughs> parang, parang ako dapat itong whenever i have a question hindi ko na pwedeng tanungin sa mga ano na oh in anyway, ano na nga ba yung ganito hindi pwede kailangan talagang google 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 <laughs> We, well in time magdarating ka rin sa ganitong ano no eh. so yeah oh sa akin It's not so... Much. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Ivy. Hello po. Hello, Hello po. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, kumusta na dyan? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. 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 Buti naman na lang na kompleto, ma- kompleto na tayo. Si Liora na lang ang inaantay natin maging ready. Kasi parang medyo... Galing ha. Wala pang ano. Wala pang 5 p.m. Wala pang 5. Wala pa ba? Wala pa ba? Oh, it's fine. Yeah, inaantay natin si ano. Oh, my my watch is advanced. Bakit? But advanced ito ng three minutes. Not good. Anyway. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, Yeah. Emmanuel, it's been a while. How long has it been? Na hindi ta- na nag-usap tayo? September. So, a few months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And parang ano, parang since it's 2020, iba ang ano, parang that was a long, long time ago para sa akin. But it's nice. It's good to have you back. I like it. Um, I do. And, bro, I know. Yeah, bro, naked guy. Pa lang, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Ivy, oh, what about you? How's, how's life? How's it going? <laughs> Last time na na-interview ako sa ano, kuntis pa ako na. Uh, Ay, yeah, hindi naman yeah. ako, hindi ako nag-microphone eh. Yes. Oo, <laughs> uh, <laughs> balik. So, how... Live yeah, na ba tayo? Nice. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, Oo, oh, na. <laughs> uh, Kanina pa na live actually. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, um, 
I like I, I want ko lang sa mga audiences audiences let us let us know if you like me doing this pag minsan kasi it's nice to know the people behind the camera um, as being humans na yung nag-uusap-usap lang tayo na ganito kasi once na once na mag-start na tayo ng FCC we get we tend to be a bit more formal right and educative yun ang approach natin but I want uh, the people to know that we are still humans after all na behind the scenes eto nagchichichat pa rin tayo <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so we're still waiting for Walang office meet eh. Hindi Yes, walang office meet. Right. Pero pero welcome in the month of February, the love month. <laughs> February pa ba? Is it February still? I thought it's March. It's March already. I March Ay, February pa lang. <laughs> 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 ako pala ito ano? <laughs> ako pala ito okay so we gotta get ready i brief natin si ano sila si Ivy and Leora Leora are you okay ang gagawin natin uh, there seems to be a lot of background noise so what we're going to do is we're going to mute almost all of us whenever somebody is going to speak paki unmute na lang okay um, all right okay Are we, re- are we ready? Uh, again, as usual, na- na- naranasan nyo naman ng magano dito. Pero as usual, if I happen to interrupt, keep on talking. Kung meron kayo pwede gustong sabihin pa rin, just keep on talking. Don't let me stop you. Ako itong titigal, right? And your, for your, if you're watching Facebook directly, kindly mute your Facebook para hindi tayo mag-feedback. That's it. Are we all ready? Uy, si Leora, hindi. But it's okay. It's okay. She, she will come. Yes. It's okay. Send it in. All right, let's go. There you go. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the, I don't remember which episode this is. Oh, Flip Chat and Chill, where we gather a bunch of people to talk about the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, and the beautiful of freelancing. Right now, our topic for today is, no way? Uh, the essential tech skills to get you started in online freelancing. Kung meron. Very, very. <laughs> Ayos yan. Pero ano, eh, um, since wala dito si Ana, lahat ng mga trabaho niya ipapasok ko sa iyo. Ah. No way ha. At oh. saka ilang beses ka ring absent kaya sige, ito na lang ang ano mo. Ang penalty mo. <laughs> I will just be throwing it at you. Uh, so, first question, why are we going to talk about this topic? No way. Well, um, we are talking about this topic especially for those uh, mainly for those who want to join our world kumbaga sa online freelancing kasi uh, there is one common objection when it comes to uh, introducing the world of the gig economy kumbaga in the online world uh, kung mm-hmm. kaya ko ba yan uh, ano bang kailangan diyan uh, siguro hindi naman ako marunong magcomputer hindi ako techy but do you really mm-hmm. have to be techy in order for you to get started in online freelancing. That's what we are going to discuss in today's episode. Yes, very good. Thank you very much, Noe, for explaining that. Now, you ladies and gentlemen, it is up to you to please share this video and tell us where you are viewing this from. Babati namin kayo a little later, but before that, let me introduce to you our guests for today. Let's start with... Um, dudes, Mr. Naked Guy. Hi. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, please. <laughs> oh! Wow! I made a mistake. Paki unmute, Anna, dudes. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, hi! There you go. Sabi mo say hi, hi. 
<laughs> hi classmates and hi everyone watching. Yeah. Ayan. For those of you, ladies and gentlemen, who do not know dudes, siya itong active na nagko-comment. Comment dito sa atin sa FCC, Emmanuel. And he's also better known as the half-naked guy. Nung Christmas party, what happened again, dudes? Yes, uh, I had... Uh, I, I know. I, I, I won the... I won a costume contest without having a costume. Parang... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Like, I love that. <laughs> Nako, si parang, uh, Laura, it's a, in, it's a, parang it's a metaphysical thing that happened. Yung yung that costume situation. Para ding para ding itong topic natin ngayon na kailangan mo ba talaga ng tech skills to get started in online freelancing? Parang that's how I'm connecting that. Here. Diba? Okay. 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 Si kailangan na rin ba na, kailangan na rin ba nating magdamit? Yun na. <laughs> <laughs> Yun na ba? Yun na ba pag-uusapan natin? Do we really have to wear clothes? <laughs> But yeah, thank you very much dudes for coming in. It's been a while so I'm, I, and I miss talking with you. But what about Ivy? Hello, Ivy. It's been also a while. How are you today? Hello, po. Good afternoon sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Magandang buhay. Joke. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> uh, paano ba? So, ako si Ivy. Ano, uh, makikita niyo yung mga post ko about being a mom din sa flip. Tapos, ano, pa-daddy mom, freelancing. So, freelancer mom. Tapos, ano, um, social media manager yung ninish ko ngayon which is same kami mm -hmm. ni Nelia ba yun? <laughs> yung kasama natin ngayon. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tapos, um, ayan, ayun lang. Um, uh, customer support din ako currently. Actually, currently, log in ako ngayon sa work ko. <laughs> Tapos, oh, wow. Galing. Tapos, mas screenshot siya ni Upwork, actually. Ah, okay. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, minsan i-hide ko na lang yung mga mukha natin. <laughs> Nag-aantay lang naman ako ng calls. <laughs> Ayun, tapos, um, yun lang, yun lang sa akin. <laughs> could, could you get that? Because this, this is live. Yeah, this is exciting naman. Ito ang gusto ko sa ano. This is what I like about uh, flip chat and chill. Uh, hindi tayo masyadong formal. We get to uh, we get to talk uh, about ourselves and we laugh and we cry if if that is what's needed. <laughs> and this is what's beautiful about freelancing as well. We get to be real. We don't have to pretend. Ito si Laura. Are are you okay now? Laura. Can you hear us now? Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Say hi to everybody, hi. Laura, please. <laughs> hi, hi everyone. Hello, Flip family. So, <laughs> I'm here to the coffee shop because there's no internet in our house. So, I'm mm -hmm. hello. Hello, everyone. Hey, Laura. Maybe yes. ano, you can see your landscape so you can see it. namin. Parang ma. What we're going to do, what we're going to do, Laura, is we are going to mute everybody, and then if you're if you're called out. Yeah, like that. Hi, my delay. My delay. I think Laura is listening from ano, from Facebook. But anyway, yeah, we're going to mute you and then unmute you whenever ano. Yes. Okay, where where are you? Where's the mute button? Where is the mute? Um, no way. That, that's your job, to mute her and unmute her. It. There you go. So, ayan, uh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, nandito mga nandito mga guests natin, and of course, here is me. Phoenix, Phoenix Jackson, along with my favorite co-host right now. Yes, favorite kasi ako na lang. Hindi <laughs> 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 Hello, hello. 
So it's been a while din si Noe. Parang ilang be, uh, parang isang session ata na nawala ka or is it two sessions? I think two sessions pa na nawala. Okay, so everybody, ladies and gentlemen, tell or let us know if you miss Noe or not. Sabihin lang natin para we will reprimand him from being absent last week. Please. Meanwhile, let's greet our uh, viewers. Noe, take it away. Yes, uh, before anything else, please write down in the comment section kung na-miss nyo ba ako or hindi para hindi ako paluin nila Phoenix. Okay. At kung sa mga magko-comment at sa mga hindi magko-comment, meron na akong special announcement at the end of this live session. So, keep tuning in and sharing this video para marami tayong mas spreadan ng news. So, again, hello sa lahat. Happy month of February. Kung kasama kayo ni Phoenix, Happy month of March. <laughs> Wala na kayo <laughs> <yung> February. <laughs> hello kay Glo. Kay Mahar. Hello Mahar. Kay Ruby. Kay Miss Aya. Princess. Judith. Sean. Shalima, Shalimar from Santa Maria Bulacan. Uh, kay Princess De Castro from Marilao. Kay Katapang Maisi from Batangas. Kay Debbie Riza from Cavite. At nag-comment pa dito si Emmanuel Dude, super active talaga. Kahit nasa, nasa live session na, nagko-comment ba? <laughs> hello, hello. Christine, um, Tanya, Ogalesco, Arsile. Um, sorry if hindi ko alam ba i-mention properly yung names nyo, pero yan na yun. Marlene, Emil, hello, hello. D- da, Alionar, Esplana. Kay Julian Padiernos, hello po. Elizabeth, uh, kay Jenny, kay Francisco, kay, um, sino pa ba? Sino pa hindi ko nabanggit? Kay Cecil from Antipolo, kay Amelita. Dami natin today, super happy ako. Um, kay Teresa Abigail Cleofe, uh, hello. Miss na daw. Akala, akala daw niya DJ or announcer sa radio si Mr. Phoenix kasi ang ganda doon ng boses. Wow! Sana masabihan din ako. Sana all. Sana. <laughs> Eddie Kayla, hello po. Uh, wala talaga nag-comment na na-miss ako. Wala talaga. Last, last na. Wala na talaga. <laughs> Kay Martin, hello bro. Kay, ayun, si Amelita. Hello. Ayun. Babayara kita mamaya mag-invite ka sa akin. Kay Ditas, kay Geraldine, hello, hello, hello. Again, share, please help us in sharing this video kasi mag-uusap tayo about, you know, the, the, the main barrier when it comes to uh, people from the, the corporate world trying to join the online freelancing world. Kung yung, yung con- main concern nila kung kaya ba nila yung, yung pagka-teki na kailangan or kailangan ba talagang maging teki. So at the end of this live video, we will be again, I will be announcing a very special, I will be giving a special gift. Uh, and then I, I really hope that you will stay until the, the end. Yeah. And so I am going to ask um, each, and, each and every one of you guests, I'm going to ask you three questions. What is freelancing? What is freelancing? In very very shortly and what is your niche and 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 what uh, what particular essential tech skill just one you be nakamataas do you use and recommend let's start with dudes ikaw nga muna okay uh Freelancing is is a, a a method of going about employment that is gig based and it is variable and it is emerging. Yun lang, because I I didn't know I would be first. I Google pa sana That was off the top of my head. I don't know second and third question. What is your niche and what skill do you need? Oh, uh, 
my niche is now consumer software services and my skill i'm developing for that is email copywriting all right, all right. but i think you asked a different question Parang, what is the essential tech skill that you recommend yes 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 you should not uh, ko lang. sorry for that uh, i'm so sorry for that uh, well, the essential tech skill I recommend to start in online freelancing is uh, lit reading literacy. As long as you know how to read and write, even if you don't know how to read and write, you can get started and you'll get where you need to go. Galing. Okay. That's my take. Nice. Galing. Ayun nice. yung ayun yung iniintay ko. Super complicated nung first. Pati <laughs> ako para ayo na mag-freelance. So it's a balance. <laughs> <laughs> back it, ano? Ba- back it, uh, reading. Because it, uh, it's all you need to get the ball rolling. Infor- we mm. live in an information age, and you can, you can put nice. your building blocks, put one block on top of the other, and the next thing you know, you'll be spouting jargon, and mm-hmm. being able to understand it, and being able to help your clients better and get more. Give value and get more value as well. I so love that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So recommended from dudes. I know ang essential tech skills na kailangan mo to survive freelancing. It's reading. There, that's it's very it's a very simple answer. Pero kung totoo siya, malalim yun eh. Dahil yun na according to dudes' explanation, it will lead you wherever you want to go. So start reading, everybody. Okay, what about? Um, you know, Ivy, Ivy, what about you? Uh, <laughs> so, ano, to add na lang din siguro, so sa reading, uh, sinabi ni dudes na reading, so sa akin is communication skills, sa, mm-hmm. sa, pag, sa pag-communicate mo dun sa client mo. So, basically, kailangan mo yan para uh, proper na masabi mo sa client mo kung ano na yung mga activities mo or kung ano yung kaya mong gawin or kung na-meet mo ba yung mga requirements niya. So, yun. <laughs> um, speaking, ganyan, mga technical skills. Tapos, syempre, kailangan marunong kang mag-gumamit ng computer. And <clears throat> kung, kung gusto mo mag-social media, eh, siya, halos naman lahat meron ng Facebook gumagamit na ng Facebook, tapos um, marunong mag-post. Um, yung iba lang, kailangan mo lang i-research, mga ganun, yung mga um, research skill, kailangan, mas maganda rin na meron kang ganun, e di, eh, um, dito. <laughs> meron naman sa Google, so, napagdaan naman natin yan sa high school, or sa kung, oh, yun, mga ganun, di ba? So, um, freelancing, so yung sa question na lang ni, ni Sir Phoenix, <laughs> what is freelancing daw? <laughs> so, what is freelancing? Um, so, um, parang, parang contractor ng isang, parang kinuhang contractor ng isang client na para ma-leverage na yung um, mga tasks. Yung parang sobrang na-overwhelm na si client sa mga tasks na mga gagawin niya. So, kailangan niya ng tulong. So, which is, ganun na rin yung ginagawa ko. <laughs> yung med- med- medyo na-overwhelm na sa mga pinapagawa ni client. Tumihingi na rin ako ng tulong sa iba. So, ayun. Parang, parang nag-hire ka. So, depende if hourly rate or or fixed rate. Um, 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 depende sa 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 company ni uh, client. So, yun. Ang um, nag-finish daw na ako ngayon sa social media management and marketing. So, um, yan. Basically, sa LinkedIn, yung mga clients ko. And um, we do outreach um, campaigns. Nagsisend ng mga message. Dati, um, gumagamit kami ng automation tools, pero ngayon, parang um, yung ibang client, nag-prefer na nila yung manual na nagsisend ka ng mga uh, message. 
So, minsan, ginagamit ko yung cellphone ko. Cellphone lang yung ginagamit ko. Nilalagin ko yung account ng client doon. So, nagsisend ako ng mga message. Tapos, kung may reply, depende kung ano yung usapan niyo ng client mo. If ikaw lang yung magre-reply or there is a template na mm. message na isisend mo as a reply or or siya lang talaga ang magre-reply. So, yun. Um, yun yung isa sa mga magandang niche or skill <laughs> kasi madali lang siya. <laughs> madali lang siya actually sa ang mahirap lang is yung paghahanap ng client. <laughs> so, yeah. yun nga, um, client acquisition yun. Uh, ano pa ba? <laughs> ano ba yung mga ano? So, ayun. Siguro currently, gusto ko pa ng more. More on freelancing, more clients, more premium clients, ganun. Siyempre, may mga goals tayo in life. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. Ang dami mo na, ang dami, ang dami niyang naibigay, ah, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Ang dami niyang naibigay. Kasi nga, social media management ang ang niche niya. So, and there are quite some things that are, that may seem to be easy. Dahil ginagawa nga natin halos everyday. We have our, we all have Facebook accounts. We might have Instagram. We might have LinkedIn as well. Because we usually advise our students to have accounts on those platforms. Eh, kung post ka rin naman ng post, why not na pagkaperahan mo? But it's not just about posting, katulad na lang sabi ni, ni Ivy, marami ka pang dapat medyo pag-aralan ng konti, especially balancing what to post and what not, and client acquisition as well as she mentioned. So there you go. What about you, Leora? What's your take on this? Um, hi. So what is freelancing? So for me, yung freelancing, it is uh, you don't have boss so you're uh, working for uh, many clients but you're self-employed and then you can uh, earn uh, what's this paying fixed rate or hourly but most of my clients are naka fixed rate ako and then uh, I work I know flexible time dahil uh, Bale, yung mga clients ko are more of monitoring na kasi lang ako. Though I do the content, but there is only a days na nag ano, inaayos ko lang siya. Then, the, then schedule ko lang that after we, yun, ayun na nag-monitor ako. So also, nag engage din ako. So, bali, tinsulit-check ko yung mga peak hours ng mga, ano, talaga, uh, bali ng audience ng mga clients ko. So for ano yung niche, niche ko um, since kasi ay my background ako sa med uh, sa medical so hindi na ako nag ano nag nag reach out talaga ako sa may mga background din like sa mga health health coach sa mga chiro hmm. then also sa ah, gusto ko talaga yung mga gym gym owners so bali ewan ko kasi nahihilig na din ako sa <laughs> mag exercise <laughs> That's so, good. ayun na. Mahilig ako manood sa YouTube ng mga ganong, ano, mga kung ano yun nilang passive active exercise and mga ginagawa sa gym. So, ayun. And then, hindi kasi mahirap para sa akin yung mga language nila. Isa na yun. Uh, so, pag nag-reach out ako, dyan may mga sinasabi nila more on medical. So, mabilis ako mag, ano, mabilis yung sagot ko kasi nagkakaintindihan kami. Bali yung language namin is an relate talaga. So, fr- so from there, ba, isa din sa reason why I chose this skill is um, I know, yung skill ko is sa social media management then and marketing. Kasi yun talaga ang need nila. So, yung pagpili ko sa kanila ay may purpose din. Kasi they are Um, these uh, gym owners, mga health coaches are very busy person. So, la, sa pag-reach out ko, laging ang ano nila sa akin is, can you help me with uh, uh, online presence and then uh, can I uh, uh, target more leads? So, mga ganon. So, yun ang naging number one kong ano tuloy. Offer sa kanila is the social media management. Sa yun po. I love that. Wow, I love that. That's quite a big, that's quite a big skill. Kung tutusin, you're right, right? Because social media management is a skill on its yes. own. Na it involves many more skills, yeah. right? 
There you go. So, thank you very much. Laura. Buti na lang ano. Buti lang medyo tumahimik dun sa background mo. I, li- I like it. There. So, since we are talking about essential tech skills, next question nga sa inyo. Um, uh, by the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any question, just go ahead and ask. And or yung mga comments ninyo, just like um, this one. One thing improve ko, uh, please, sa sarili ko yung communication skills. Lagi kasi ako na misunderstood. I think we all we can all relate to that, right, guys? Yes, we can all you, we yeah. can all relate to that. Even yeah, so so yeah. Oh, itong si ano si si Noe, He is good at what he does, and the thing about us Filipinos is na. You know, Meron tayong particular accent na hindi natin alam. We we don't know that we have this particular accent that is kind of rough to those who aren't used to it. So we do need to adjust a little bit for them. And even in writing, yung writing natin medyo formal ng konte. So we need to be a little bit more casual when 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 we are reaching out to them. Kasi yung uh, we we try we tend to be very respecting right to our clients so the way we communicate with them is a little too formal for them sometimes it makes them uncomfortable and right? sometimes and if they are uncomfortable they might doubt our skills na baka naman masyadong formal itong magpo-post sa, sa Facebook account ko they might think like that so yes it's true that we need to enhance improve our communication skills 24/7 it's endless lahat tayo even i uh, still feel the need to improve my communication skills so it's endless but nevertheless um like you what's your name Eleanor Uh, hindi ko ma-pronounce yung da. Is it da? Or da. <laughs> is it da? Da Alunar. Uh, uh, regardless, ano, have faith in your skills dahil kahit pa paano, naipapresent mo pa rin yung trabaho mo. And that is the most important thing. Okay? Ang verbal skills natin, we can just keep on improving. Don't, uh, uh, don't be stressed about it. Alright? So just keep improving. So let's say, uh, tech skills. Pagdating sa tech skills, Do we have any secrets that we well it may not be a secret but something that we would we would love to introduce people like for example Saken I really like using later.com and Hootsuite I really like using that It's, it, it manages my it manages my time parang pagkatapos na ma-alert lang ako pindot pindot click click na lang ako ng click click and then things are posted Right, so I, I love using Later and Hootsuite. What about you guys? Let's go with um, Ivy. What's your What's your favorite tool? Um, so favorite app ng mga social media managers, Canva mm. <laughs> and Ooh. Buffer. Tapos for also Trello and Asana. Mm. Pero yung syempre yung pagdesign Canva talaga. And yung pag... Kasi sa free lang kasi yun sa Canva. Then mm-hmm. sa buffer din, then free lang din siya. Kaya kahit sino pwedeng gumamit nun. So pwede kang maka-schedule sa... Kung gagamit ka ng buffer, maka-schedule ka na... Bali, for example, may Facebook page ka... Alam, madami nang nag-ano nun. Ngayon eh, gumagawa ng Facebook page, nagbebenta, di ba, online. So, yes. pwedeng-pwede silang mag-schedule ng mga post through Buffer. Tapos, kung nakikita ko, madami na din gumagamit din ng Canva. Tapos, parang kasi, yung, usually, yung mga design, nagkakapare-pareho na lang din. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. So, yun. Kung gusto mo naman na parang unique ka, marami pang ibang tools dyan. Marami pang ibang ano, um, design tools. So, ano din, um, meron din Q, Q-U-U. I'm not sure kung pamilya kayo. Pero kasi, isa yun sa mga natutunan ko sa ano, sa previous, ano yun? Previous job ko. Kasi, ano siya, um, nag-automatic post ng mga um, mga oh, dito <laughs> mga um, articles tapos parang may ano lang siya um, parang yung mga fir, uh, first paragraph kinukuha niya para automatic na siyang nagpo-post for you balik pero connected pa din siya sa buffer 
So, mm-hmm. ayun, kumakita niyo sa sa Facebook page ko. <laughs> so, kumakita lang sa Facebook page ko. Uh, meron dong nag-automatic post siya every day. So, pero ano lang, careful lang pala tayo diyan kasi ano, para para ka kasi ano diyan is spam. <laughs> para ka nang oh, ano, okay. spammer, parang oh, pag uh-huh. pag ganyan ka mag-post. So, minsan yung mga followers mo, yan follow ka kasi masyado masyado nang madaming pinopost ganyan. So, yan, careful lang din. So, syempre ang mas importante sa aside from sa mga tools, ano, um kailangan personal mo din na I mean, aside from sa mga automation tools, madami na kasi ngayon ni eh, mga automation tools. Sabi nga nung isa isang friend, naging friend ko siya kagabi sa LinkedIn, ano, um yung mga leads, ano, i-treat mo sila as, not as numbers lang na, ayan, dumadami na yung leads mo, hindi nga, hindi daw dapat yan. Dapat as humans pa din. So, kung makikipag-connect ka sa mga, sa mga, ano, sa, sa niche mo, or yung, kung sa Upwork, mag apply ka, hindi yung copy-paste, copy-paste ka na lang ng, ano, ng mga application, a cover letter mo, or kung magkukonect ka sa Facebook, hindi yung, copy paste na lang yung mga script mo ganyan. Mas so, maganda i-connect mo talaga sila as personal na. Hello, kumusta ka na diyan? Kung mami ka, kung mami naman yung kausap mo na yung parang businessman siya na from US or from Australia, ano, um, kumusta diyan? Parang ganyan, oh, may encob ba diyan? <laughs> so ayun. Mm-hmm. Parang ganoon. Maki kumusta ka rin. So aside from mga automation tools na meron tayo ngayon, importante na um personal ka pa rin makikipag-communicate. Yan. Correct. <laughs> Correct. I, I, I like that. I really, really like that. Kasi mahilig tayo mag-automate para mabilisan para tapos na ang, ang trabaho natin, right? Tapos na. Basta click, 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 tapos na yung trabaho natin. But we tend to forget that we also need to, sometimes there is a need to communicate with our clients na parang, at least man lang masabi once in a while na, okay, tapos ko na itong mga ito, 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 ito. Are you, gonna, are you fine with these uh, posts, with this schedule, with this one? What do you think? Pag minsan, um, maganda rin na ginaganon natin ang clients kasi parang baby natin sila yun ang parang extra something na maibibigay natin sa kanila it shows that we care so thank you very much Ivy for suggesting that now dudes may tanong ako sa iyo what if ano ang masasabi mo sa students na magsasabing wala akong skill as in wala as in walang wala talaga wala mag on lang ng computer ang alam ko so what particular uh, tech skill would you introduce to that person? As in, wala. Wala, <laughs> wala talaga. Hindi, kasi diba nakikita natin yung mga ganyang sagot, sa, especially sa, ano, sa group natin, wala akong skill, wala akong alam. Pa- paano ba ito? Sometimes we see oh. those answers. So hmm. what are you going to introduce? What particular Sadly, tech skill do you want to introduce? Sadly, half of those are um parang determinedly sad situations where fixed na ang mind to not really mm. go forward pero ha, pero the half that do I, I mean the half na hindi naman uh i would like to unclose the concept further not just the the being able to read but having the the awareness to ask and to ask um, parang uh, yung thoughtful naman na asking hindi yung ask nang na there's this term being passed around pero yung ask hole hindi naman yung okay <laughs> okay hindi, not that uh, just the just the just the humility to ask and be able to move forward from the answers you can get from such questions the ability Thank to you. learn basically. Mm. It, which That's is good. one of the, one of the tech skills then na mention those na one of the tech skills na mini mention na na hin, na it will take some time before ma overtake tayo if we will be overtaken by machines and that and yung emotional intelligence just the self awareness to ask and move forward from the things you learn from your asking mm. That's right. That's oh god. That's so good. And 
See, ladies and gentlemen, si dudes, ang, ang preach niya is something that you will apply in every tech skill. Because kanina ko pa siya pinipiga, ano ba ang gusto niyang, ano ba ang pwede niyang i-mention na product. He avoided those questions and told us something that is bigger than that small picture, which is just learning. Okay, so reading and literacy and learning the ability to learn yon ang mga preach ni dudes which is definitely important because no matter how many apps we are going to mention no matter if we try to teach you something from a to z if you are not willing to learn and you are you refuse to read uh, nothing will come out of it sinasayang nyo lang ang oras nating dalawa yeah, it's not just our time it's also your time and so if you can respect your time go ahead and learn 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 I love that. Thank you very much, dudes. I, let me pass a question to Leora. Ito. Sabi ni, ano, sabi ni Ellen, I've been freelancing since 2011 and I was only interviewed by via text or chat. Nabablank kasi talaga ako pag English verbal communication. Yun yung tunay na reason. Pero what I am saying to my client is for me to review our conversation. Now, let me ask you, Leora, what are you to do if you are techni- uh, technologically savvy, but verbal skills mo talaga medyo mahina? Um, ako talaga, I know, uh, I advise na still learning is the best ano, uh, best thing to do. Um, kung talagang sa loob mo is may hindi ka ganun kagaling mag-English, then learn how to speak in English, learn how to uh, read English books or any you know, online uh, say YouTube or any websites that will help para ma- maging maganda yung pag pag-approach sa convo and also always approach someone else na may karunungan sa pagsasalita ng English wala naman masama if you approach sometimes kasi sometimes kasi po is yun yung ano ng isang tao na ma-judge siya agad. So, kaya yung nagiging ano nila is parang Personal baka ma, ma, ano, ma, yung tingin nila sa sarili nila is low na agad. So, never, never uh, think of it. So, it is, ano, if you are going to try online freelancing, it is best na maging ready na kayo na most of the time talaga i um among clients are uh, english uh, uh they talaga they talk in english they read and ev- lahat na nang gusto nilang ma sabi na natin lahat ng platforms talagang english is a must but mm. hindi naman kailangan na talagang perfect or fluent or what so this uh these things are inaaral lamang so yun talaga ang best advice ko is just read and of course listen sa mga mga movies Netflix is very very number one example ko and YouTube and ako sabihin ko sarili ko may learning English ako sa Instagram ko where in mas madali kasi ano siya lahat eh parang video so na mas na, na ano ako mas na-enjoy ko mas madaling intindihin nice. Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Sa Instagram, medyo limited ang time. Ano, hindi yung masyadong mahaba na... That's something that I don't like about YouTube nowadays. Eh. Masyadong mahaba ang mga lectures nila. Konti lang ang gustong sabihin. Dar- ang dami-dami ng oras na kinonsume. Yep. Thank you very much, Laura. Yun ang... Uh, and to add to that, Sabi ni, sabi ni Laura, sige lang ng sige, right? Yes, para sa akin, if your problem is communication, it's not really the language that is your problem. It's confidence. It's confidence. Kasi sometimes, uh, nako, nako-conscious ka lang na you will make a mistake. Whereas the client could actually understand you. Right? Kasi nasanay din sila sa mga, eh, karamihan sa kanila, nasanay din sa mga Pilipino, nasanay, nasanay din sa mga Mexicano na nandun. So, yung accent natin or uh, vocabulary natin, okay, okay lang sa kanila. And one thing more, most of the times, most of us Filipinos are better in writing. So, just be prepared. Na kung sasabihin na, what? Come again? I didn't understand what you said. Type it. Para maintindihan. <laughs> yun, yun lang naman ang, ano, eh, ang solution nun. Pag meron kang na-mispronounce, don't be shy. Just 
type it and ma- makikita niya pag sinabi niya then imitate how he or she said the word kanu kan lang basta relax ka lang so i think in addition to what lira said uh gain a little bit more confidence in yourself para kahit na medyo hindi pa rin tayo masyadong prepared in speaking english terms pwede pa rin tayong humarap sa kanila no way any favorite uh, comment or question out there Yes, I'm going through them one by one. And ito, <laughs> ang sabi ni Ruby, I just wanted to show this kasi nag-resonate ako. Hello po, I think pag take yung requirements ni client, dito lalabas yung imbes na magtanong ng how, dun sa client directly ay nag-re-research din talaga. Kasi kaya ang sabi nga, magiging best friends mo si sila Google and YouTube. So why why did it resonate to me? Uh, simply because, again, as what ano no as what uh, just to amplify the point of dudes kanina when asked kung ano ba talaga yung essential tech skill na kinakailangan ng isang tao para para makapagsimula sa freelancing which is ang sabi ni dudes is reading kung marunong ka magbasa uh, it's as simple it's it will be as simple as reading a recipe and trying to cook the recipe You know Ooh, like that, that that's really that's really just it. Wa well, hindi hindi kung marunong ka mag Facebook, marunong ka mag YouTube. Marunong ka mag Google, <laughs> diba? So everything if you know all three, then you have the necessary, you have the essential tech skills that you need. Why? Because you can find jobs as easy as entering data from an invoice. You enter it directly into a spreadsheet. That's what I did my first job. You can find jobs. Now you you just ask to arrange emails, organize emails of your clients. And if you go to your email right now, kung hindi ka pa nago online freelancing, go to your email Gmail and then see how messy it is. Hindi mo alam, walang categories. Uh, ang daming nasa spam, hindi mo alam kung asan yung important, asan yung not important. Merong mga clients na nag-hire just to do that for them. Kasi nga, ang sabi nga din ni Miss Ivy, ayun nga, wala na silang oras to do that because they're focused on more important things on their business, which is growing more income, getting more clients. So yung mga tasks na ganyan, binibigay yun sa mga freelancers which is us so that's where we come in that's where parang that's where we fix their problem of not having enough time kasi we are all humans we all have the same 24 hours a day we all have the same seven days a week so kahit gaano ka pa kataas na sa level gaano ka pa kayaman na gaano pa ka successful na yung business mo we all have the same we all live on the same planet we all are standing on the same ground. So, ang nangyayari, siyempre, manghihingi yan sila ng tulong and of course, magbabayad sila for that. So, that's where, that's why, that's why the freelance world is booming kasi yung mga Pinoy is naturally masipag. Naturally masipag, mm-hmm. naturally uh, madaling mag-comprehend, uh, naturally good in English. So, don't be insecure if you're not if you feel you're not that good in English, kasi, to be honest, uh, we are one of the most paano ba, literate. Kumbaga, kasi kahit simpleng tricycle driver, marunong mag-English yan, nakakaintindi yan. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang sila marunong mag-express uh, ng the right words, but they can understand and they can they can try to speak. So, Ayun, ayun yung parang wala talagang wala talagang barrier eh. the, the only barrier that is really stopping us from getting into the the online freelancing world is our mindset, no? If we can really do it or not. Kasi the the only the only enemy that you have is yourself. So uh kaya nga, ayun, you you have to be parang you have to face your fears. Anja naman si Google and YouTube. And dito naman kami, freelancers, freelancers in the Philippines, we we are nearly or lagpas na ba tayo 100,000 people sa Philippines. 
na inside this group where you can ask about anything that you you want to ask and then you know syempre sa 100,000 people hindi lahat diyan magre-reply kasi may iba diyan busy pero may isa diyan magre-reply ang pangalan niya is dudes super <laughs> 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 active yan siya uh, sa flip and ayun isa pang ano isa pang suggestion na nakita ko sa comment section no si Geraldine Lumibao uh, watching interviews in the internet helps with accent grammar and vocabulary and not only interviews ah kasi may mga interviews na boring uh, may mga you you can also watch a movie that you really like in english and then it will help you uh, improve your english improve your accent improve your grammar improve your vocabulary It's just by simply watching. Alam nyo, na, napansin yeah. ko yung mga classmates ko na uh, very much fans of animes, no? They learned the language of j- the Japanese s- simply by watching the animes on Japanese versions. So, ayun, right. ayun lang. Oh, ang, ang galing nila, actually. Ang dami nilang natutunan sa culture ng Japanese people, sa mga K-pop naman, sa culture ng Koreans. So, it's really, it's really based on kung gusto ba talaga natin yung ginagawa natin. So, mm-hmm. yan tayo nakakatuto. So, um, ayan. Ayan yung ano, ayan yung parang main takeaway ko dito sa usapan natin kasi if you if you really uh, if you really want to like enter freelancing and uh, and try to find a job online the only thing that's stopping is you that's what you have to remember yep. and for for the question in the comment section si Sheldon uh, Arenas sabi niya question po for tech skill example web developer okay lang ba kung kunin ka ni client ng monthly for 50k or mas okay yung per hour. Ganun po ba ang rate sa mga technical? Hindi po ako yun, nabasa ko lang. So, I will go first, pero I I want an answer from from each of our guests. So, <clears throat> ang sinasabi ko dito, if, if ask for a rate, you ask yourself, is this what I'm worth? Parang ganun. I-ask mo, i-ask mo yung self mo, is this, is this what I'm worth? Because to tell you honestly, my first job was to encode again uh, data from invoices into a spreadsheet, organize the spreadsheet, create a graph out of that spreadsheet. All uh, became easier because of the the spreadsheet itself. Wala akong tools na kinailangan. So if I didn't know what to do with a specific formula, I have Google, I have YouTube. So How much did they pay me for that? That's 50,000 per month. Eight hours a day. Na nag encode lang ako ng uh, invoice. So it's really up to you to decide. So ayun yung sagot ko. Uh, I want an answer from dudes first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I'm team... Uh, unmuted. Ano ako? Uh, t- team fixed. Kasi that gives you incentive to finish the job faster. So that's good for your client kasi you're saving your client's time and you're saving your time din. Uh, yun lang, short answer. Kasi, <laughs> <laughs> kasi kapag ano, kapag, kapag ano, in situations where pwedeng fix a fixed package and you don't know You don't know paano paano mo i-arrange as a fixed fixed package. Dito na mag-come in yung learning and uh, the humility of asking yung mga ma, mga may alam and the to, to to look it up. Kasi kapag per hour you have that incentive to to well the, the worse you are at the job the, the the longer you take the the ano mas ano The, the higher you get paid parang uh, that's a flow i'm seeing lang i would like to hear the, yung the what the rest will ano yung take ng iba dito ni ivy at ni leora what about you ivy okay so sa akin yung sa concern muna niya kasi 
na experience ko na maging HR ng isang company. Or in fact, si No. <laughs> Isa siya na nag-apply. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Oo. So, ano, yung isa, meron kaming web developer noon, which is 500 lang yung pinayad ng client for web dev nga. So, ano, um, yung 1K, 1K USD, di ba, for web dev, malaki na yun. Sa tingin ko. <laughs> so, So, um, for me naman, mas preferred ko na ngayon yung fixed price. Kasi, na actually, na-experience ko yung cheap na fixed price, tsaka yung expensive din na fixed price. Ano, um, so, pero, mas gusto ko na yung fixed price. <laughs> Kasi nga, na-experience ko na rin na expensive na fixed price. Yun, ang, dyan papasok yung sinabi ni Nola. Uh, You have to know yourself. Ano yan? <laughs> so, you have, you have to know your worth. Yeah. Your worth. <laughs> you have to know your worth. So, yun. So, be an expensive freelancer. Nakahit sila na yung trabaho. <laughs> ano? Mm. Um, uh, basta, you know your worth. <laughs> I like that. Be an expensive freelancer. That's something. Yeah, that. Um, I'm going to steal that from you, Ivy. <laughs> Be an expensive freelancer. That's so good. And what about you, Lyra? Lyra. Um, for me, na mine. Uh, same. Kaga, uh, same sa lahat, it is uh, about the value talaga that uh, you can offer sa client. So, uh, before I was uh, paid uh, for uh, sabi natin same as sa uh, ano, comments sa waba for only uh, so, wala akong oras, wala akong uh, early, early or sabi natin o oh, EST or or PST. So as long as I could uh, provide all the contents na kailangan ng client and schedule it. So ayun na. And then I just spend two hours or three hours a day for that client para lang uh, uh, ma i ano ma ma monitor lang. So the the yung take away ko doon is uh, before kami na before composition na close is I provide a lot of values. So what Uh, it's not a simple uh, uh, creative si mga ginawa ko. Um, uh, what exactly is the creatives about? Kung na, nagkaroon ng research, so binigyan ko ng maraming ano, values yung client. Kung paano ba ako gumawa? So paano ba, uh, how is the audience um, maka, ma-attract sa mga post para dumami yung ano natin, followers, organic, and paid. So, ayun, naging, naging ano sa kanila yun na parang uh, it looks uh, para akong consultant sa kanila. Yun ang dating ko. Hindi ako pala, hindi ko, hindi sila yung tumanong ng nagtanong sa akin, but instead ako yung nag, ano, ako yung nagtanong kung ano ba mga naging prob, uh, iba pang struggles yung about sa business niya. So, ano sila naging, naging palakwento hanggang sa, nag, nakuha ko na yung ano nila, yung talagang, problem hanggang sa hanggang sa yung offer ko yung rate na sila suggest ko is naging walang problema yeah. so i signed the contract and then we started uh, right away after it so I, i think it's the pos- positioning yourself sa kung ano ang ano mo ang may offer mo so para sa akin you should act like as a consultant and um and then po so provide value nice. always Nice. I, that's a very, very good take on this question. Thank you very much, Dora. May... Nagtaka ako eh. Nagulat ako na karamihan ang sabi ninyo is fixed. fixed. You, you, you want to all go for fixed. Ako, I think it really depends on... Uh, your relationship with the client and your experience as a freelancer uh, as a whole. If you're a beginner, 
na nag-iipon ka pa lang ng, for example, if you're in Upwork, nag, nag-iipon ka pa lang ng mga hours of work. Dahil pag minsan may mga clients na required nila na kailangan nakaipon ka ng 100 hours working in in Upwork. May mga ganong requirements, then might as well take advantage of that. It also depends on your client if your client is fickle-minded padal meron may mga ganun eh masakit sa ulo kung contractual ka kung kung magfi-fix ka na the whole project tatapusin mo within one month and you're gonna be paid 50k tapos through the pro- throughout the process naman you're on the w- you're on your way to finishing a particular section of your project bigla na lang nagbago ang isip nitong client na ay ganito pala i want you to add this ay hindi pala you, you, i want you to remove this then ikaw rin ang lugi kasi yung oras mo talaga kakainin niya kakainin niya and if that is the case sabi na sabi mo nang kung kung ako siguro okay let's go with fixed pero pag once na nagganon-ganon na yung client, ang hirap na sabihin na sandali, kinakain mo na ma- ang ang oras ko, i-switch i- i- natin sa ano, sa early. Medyo mahirap. So you're going to need the skills. The, you're going to need the communication skills to do so. Okay? So just be ready. If you're going to uh, take the the fix rate, be ready na pwede na kung kung kailangan mo i-shift sa sa pay sa hourly, uh, at least naka-prepare ka na ng speech mo na sasabihin mo sa kanila. So just uh, I think that's my take. Kung ako siguro um, I would like to start with hourly kasi parang gini-gauge mo pa lang ang relationship mo dito sa ano dito sa client. And then after a couple of days or let's say one week, sabihin mo nang ganoon and nakita mong okay, okay na, okay, okay na siya. Nakuha mo na rin ang loob niya. Pwede mong sabihin na, you know what? I can finish this after after this month. Why not? Why don't we uh why don't we why don't I finish this project and you just pay me blah. Uh, 50k if that is what you want. You can do that. Mas mas madali sa akin yung ganun na you will start from hourly tapos sabi mo ng e-monthly mo na lang para wala ka ng problema na binabayaran mo pa ako araw-araw. I think that would be that would be better in my opinion. Pero it really is up to you to decide. Okay. May ano, may napansin ko na patawa si ano si Dudes kanina and I think um a lot of people noticed this uh this comment here from Julianne. So what we're going to do, kasi medyo, biti, medyo ano na tayo sa oras, I want uh, Leora to talk about number one, Dudes will talk about number two, and Ivy will talk about number three. Leora, how about you? Let's do number one. Wait, for me, base, basic na dapat meron isang freelancer at na mga gustong maging freelancer is number trust yours. Number one, trust yourself or self-confidence. Lahat naman tayo hindi natin alam ang lahat ng bagay. Pero kung may tamang kumpiyansa ka sa... Ah, okay. So, yes, uh, totoo. Uh, self-confidence talaga is one of the key para ma, ma, magawa mo lahat ng uh, task mo. Also, Um, ito, uh, isa din yan sa malaking uh, part ng pagiging freelancer, especially sa pag, uh, ano mo, ng result mo sa client. Uh, kasi if... Oo. Leora? Oh, no. <laughs> Naka- <laughs> Sayang! Nakat siya dito. Okay, go. <laughs> Laura, you na ano na interrupt ka kanina. Um, could you please uh, say it again? <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. So, ayun, so self confidence. So, ayun kasi na sabi kasi self confidence is one of the keys sa freelancing kasi unang-una pwedeng pagtanungan uno ay syempre yung sarili mo muna and of course you need all the ano uh, dapat equip ka lahat sa mga kailangan mo especially if uh, for me as a social media manager so I have all the ano na mga templates uh, those uh, things na makakatulong sa akin para everyday yung, yung task ko is nagagawa ko so the, if dapat maramdaman ni client na you are doing uh, the right thing para hindi ka niya maano ma, alam mo na ma, alisin sa team niya So, that confident is a big thing para makausad ka every day sa mga task mo. 
And that, of course, yung outcome, ang pinakagusto ng client. I love it. Wow. Thank you very much, Laura. Kasi sana na pa, pina, pinaulit kita kasi um, di, ano na, naputol na talaga kanina. <laughs> so, so sorry about that. But thank you very much for that insight. I love it. What about you dudes? What's your take on number two? Yeah. Learning. Common sense. Uh, dahil hindi lahat dapat itanong at iasa mo lang yung katagutan. Mas effective yung marunong kang maghanap ng paraan. Yes. Uh, Ano, um, it's good to to think of uh, no matter what uh, your barrier is right now, it, it's good to picture uh, na merong solution and um, it'll come to you or it won't, but you'll work around it. Just think, uh, train your mind na to look for a solution. Parang I, I, I received an email from one of the people watching see si, see si sir jtl jan uh hmm. which was giving a similar advice na parang ask a solution birthing question like ano ba yung question na yun? how can i make this work for me parang yun okay and it will it will, it will train your mind to to um look for solutions hmm. and um one of the solutions we we usually used to solve our problems is oh magsa search tayo magta type tayo in um in Google and YouTube and I'd like to share this one uh solution one trick then uh to e- to even you know to wither away that that knowledge barrier even more kasi it'll it will take a few, um it takes more time to type something sa phone um sa most smartphones natin na mayroong home button or yung center button if you long press that, lalabas, lalabas yung assistant, yung Google Assistant, and you don't have to type anything. You can literally just ask a question. Mm-hmm. You know, like a, like a, there's a fact lang that you're trying to find out, like what is freelancing, mga ganun. You can, I couldn't do it kanina kasi naka, naka, naka open yung uh, video natin. But yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, gamitin ang mga ano. You need to exploit all of the technology that is available. Yung so now you don't even need si... to type. Yes, you don't even need to type. Yun, yun nga, yung, uh, I think Ruby, your question was uh, is is answered with this. Sabi ni Ruby kasi, uh, may balak mag-transfer ng niche to be techie. Dahil yun nga ang trend, ano po yung masasuggest nyo nauna yung pag-aralan na maging techie? Everything that is in front of you. Computer mo palang, yeah, computer mo palang pag-aralan mo na. Whatever software is available out there, pag-aralan mo na yan. Because that is what it takes to be a techie, you know, to be able to function with all the technology that is available right now. Okay, Ruby. And let's go to IV, IV number three. Ayun. Um, sabi niya, whatever your plans, ask for guidance kay God. Pray and trust sa Kanya. Totoo yan. So, totoo yan. Yun lang. Yung, and then, yung kasi, <laughs> ano, <laughs> dati din, kasi medyo ano ako sa, tawag dito, ay, hindi, lost for words na ako. Ayun, um, <laughs> uh, kung parang, ano ka na, desperate ka na makahanap ng um uh, client so kung kung Catholic ka naman magnovena ka na <laughs> so mm-hmm. within nine, <laughs> so magnovena ka na so within 9 days sigurado yan magkakaroon ka na ng client <laughs> and syempre totoo yan uh, mag pray prayers talaga isa yan sa ano or kung hindi ka, kung atheist ka naman hindi ka naniniwala doon ano um may sinasabi sila ng the universe the yung yung universe is ano um basta bias ka lang sa action yun dapat action taker ka hindi ka yung tal- magaano ka lang <laughs> magpe-pray ka lang sa universe <laughs> magpe-pray ka lang kay Ayun ako. Oo, dapat yeah. ano action yeah. taker ka din so yan <laughs> I like that. I like that. Let me expound that to that a little. Because it is, it is, uh, 
<sighs> ang hirap na ano no ang hirap na i templahin ang mga sagot natin especially when religion is involved but regardless of what your faith is there is strength in believing kaya nga kahit na atheista ka or religioso ka mayroon tayong expression na i-claim ko na because that is believing that is faith right so regardless of what you be- of whom you believe in as long as you have this belief sometimes it gives you strength it sometimes it uh, gives you uh, the patience kung so kung yung parang susuko ka na uh, at wala na talagang nangyayari sa iyo feeling mo walang nangyayari sa iyo you try to believe on this something and it will boost your energy and it will you know encourage you more so if you happen to believe in god then you can say okay lord um I'm yours. And then, for sure, sasabi mo na, ay, na kay Diyos na lahat. Na kay God na lahat. Right? Kinabukasan, uh, push through ka pa rin. And if that is what what it takes for you to keep on trudging, then do so. If you're an atheist, meron naman tayong psychological, psychosomatic effects na sinasabi. So if you if that is what you believe in, then go for it. What matters is, you keep on pushing. And if you're falling, na parang yun nga yung parang feeling mo susuko ka na go and find something that you believe in uh, that will help you out all right no way go for uh yeah uh, so yes thank you very much Julianne for for that very interesting statement there kasi marami marami ring na pumapansin sa ano sa comment mo it's not just the panel here and uh, thank you very much everybody for writing your comments a- as well yung mga ibang mga tanong we will try to address them offline pero uh, medyo gipit na kasi tayo sa ano sa sa, <laughs> sa oras na pa dami tayo ng ano ng ng nasabi especially me i'm so sorry about that but that uh etong rem- Reminders namin. Take it away, no way. Yeah. Uy, no way, nakamute ka. <laughs> Uy. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Nakashare pa din. There you go. Nakashare. Yeah, it's out. It's out now. Okay. So again, very, very good uh, discussion, very great topic, if, especially to those who really want to uh, work online, work from home, work from anywhere, or kung ano bang work from something you 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 want to have in your life. Um, again, uh, gusto ko lang yung i-point out na <clears throat> there's no really uh, barrier. There's no really real barrier. Uh, when it comes to <clears throat> finding money online, finding clients online, because all it will really take is your belief. Again, your belief that you can do it and, you know, your mindset that you can do it despite not having this, not having that, despite the fear of this, despite the fear of that. Yun. So, dito tayo sa announcements. Again, sa lahat ng mga nag-stay, thank you very much. I will be uh, giving a gift uh, in a short while. But before that, I will give another gift uh, from Mahar, uh, which is yung Fry Yay giveaway. So, if you are part of our uh, freelancing community, ng freelancers in the Philippines, meron tayo every Friday yata, hindi ko alam ko every Friday na to, may pa-contest tayo and this contest was posted on January 31. So, ito yung post, manalo ng laptop stand through this Friday giveaway post. So, ang question was, sa mga freelancers here, what are your top three reasons why you're working from home? Sa mga asp- aspiring freelancers naman, what are your top three reasons kung bakit gusto mong mag-work from home? And ito yung nanalo, si Miss Feb Kanonoy Pahara. And very interested, uh, very interesting yung answer niya, yung reason number two. Pero before that, we'll, we'll, ano, we'll read all her reasons. So number one is to raise and be with my kids. Number two is to avoid traffic and sellos issue. Oh yes. <laughs> Number three is to manage my time wisely and limitless learning while at home. Very true. Uh, siya ang nanalo uh, by way of this random spin wheel of fortune na nasa internet. So congrats again if you want to know how to claim your laptop stand na ang cute color pink. 
ewan ko kung color pink yung ibibigay, just message our page or any of the moderators in the comment section and we will happily assist you with it. So this Wednesday naman, February 5 at 4pm, again, another testament na there is really no barrier when it comes to finding work online. Si Ms. Jessica Kalundan will be interviewed and the topic will be paano makapag-work online kahit PWD. So kung ang, ang disability ninyo is you think that you lack the skills or the, the essential tech skills, then mahiya kayo kay Miss Jessica Kalundan kasi <laughs> PWD siya. Talagang PWD. And then, uh, ayun, ma-inspire tayo, sabay-sabay tayong makinig sa kwento niya and on how she found a job online and how she found money online. So again, that's February 5, 4pm. Uh, mark your calendars na and see you this Wednesday. To those who haven't enrolled yet in our V Bootcamp, um, uh, V Bootcamp courses, yung accelerated and complete, you can enroll today. www.vbootcamp.ph forward slash enroll. Lifetime access na po ang aming ipamimigay. So, if you are <clears throat> if you are enrolling today, if you're enrolling on the succeeding days, you will have a lifetime access na. One time nyo lang siya babayaran. Um, pero, I don't recommend uh, I don't recommend you uh, putting it in your mind ha, na lifetime access kaya pwede mong ipagpaliban. You should you should Uh, if you take, if you enroll, you should take action right away and then guaranteed you will see results right away then. If you're not part yet of our flip group in the Facebook, please join uh, facebook.com slash groups slash flip ph or you can go to your search bars right now and type in freelancers in the Philippines and the first group that comes in to the search engine will be our group. Yung freelancers in the Philippines with Jason Dulay. So if you if you know someone who can benefit of our free VA course, uh, please share this link freevacourse.com. It's a five day course where we will be teaching you guys how and what skills you need in order to find a job online. If you're a mom like Miss Ivy, Miss Anna, and all the other moms out there and you want to work at home or you work at home and you want to interact with fellow moms, go to our Facebook page, a Facebook group, Pinay Wams, Pinay Work at Home Moms. So again, you can go to the search engine and uh, type it in. So for the best part, uh, this, is, this is actually the end of the announcements, but uh, the gift that I want to give is, is, is because that, I'm not bitter like Phoenix. No, I acknowledge the month of February, the love month. Uh, kay Phoenix, March na po tayo ngayon. <laughs> uh, I am giving a coupon code to the first 10 people who will be emailing Jason Dulay at vbootcamp.ph Wait lang. Let me check that. Uh, Itatype ko yung co- uh, email sa comment section. First 10 people to email will be getting a thousand peso of our accelerated package if uh, for for one time payment. Ha? So it's seven nine ninety. If you enroll right now within within the day, if you go and email right now, you will have a thousand pesos off and if you want to enroll naman in our complete package it's originally 19,990 i will be giving a coupon code that will take off 3000 pesos off of that price so again for the 10 people who will be uh, fast enough to email you'll have your chance to enroll in our course at a discounted price and again only within today and only if you take action today right now as in first 10 people ha ayun lang okay thank you for watching no way 
Yes, yes. Wait lang. Uh, stop sharing. Yeah. <laughs> so again, uh, guys, thank you. Uh, you can always share this page if you're already enrolled in our uh, VA Bootcamp. Share this to your family, to your relatives, to to a friend who you know na would need this uh, kind of, of, of product online. Uh, this will definitely help you guys. Um, in jumpstarting your career. Salamat sa lahat na mga nag-contribute in the comment section. Thank you to our guests as well. Uh, thank you, Phoenix. Thank you for uh, welcoming me back without uh, punishing me that much. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat sa mga lahat ng nag-type in na na-miss ako. Uh, and we hope to see you on another episode of Flip Chat and Chill, which is gonna be next Monday. Uh, this is gonna be every Monday. Please invite your friends. Please invite your relatives. Invite all that you know that will benefit from our discussions. And we hope to see you next week. Bye. Come on. Hola. No way. Sandali. Sandali. No way. Sandali, sandali. Ladies and gentlemen, sandali. Pinapa. Ikaw na koko. Okay. Ito, ito, ito. Um, uh, uh, forgive us, ladies and gentlemen. Na, na ano, nanibago si ano si Noe. Kasi nung last time na ano na nag-usap kami, sabi ko sa kanya ang closing. Pero na, an, I think ina-anticipate niya na mag-close ngayon. Kasi sabi ko yun sana ang parusa niya mamaya eh. Pero uh, let me give a chance for our all of our guests. Sorry, sorry. Sa inyo mga sa mga pa, sa inyo mga panels 1 2 and 3 Ivy Dudes and Leora, could you please give us your final words? Your and if you have any anything to plug in or shout out, do it so right now. Let me give it first to Ivy. Okay. <laughs> uh, siguro ano, um siguro you can follow me on my Facebook page for mom mommy motivations for social media uh updates siguro so yun lang <laughs> let's connect uh, paki, <laughs> sabi nga, let's uh, paki, connect. Sabi nga what, what what was uh, the what was the the page uh, so it's ano um it's digi digi moms digital solutions so mm-hmm. for mommy motivations for social media updates parang ganun May mga post din. <laughs> May mga spam ako dun. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be exciting. Wow. So, All right. Thank you very much, Ivy. I, I, I love having you here. What about you, Leora? Any final words and shout outs or advertisements? Uh, so, final words, uh, of course. Uh, huwag kayo mag-procrastinate. So, start na. If you want to start uh, be an online freelancer, so, follow what we are doing. And also, follow me na lang or add me <laughs> sa, ano ko, Leora Cornell. Leora Cornell po. And then, my LinkedIn din ako. So, Leora Cornell, good name ko doon. <laughs> and then, what else? So, as a social media manager. So, I think the best way para lalo kayo maka, maka-engage, um, post more content na will attract your viewers, your target uh, target uh, audience, syempre. And of course, your target client. So, ayun lang. Be more, ano, um, ipakita nyo sa lahat na ako tos. Social media manager Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to connect with everybody here. And finally, see si Dudes Naman. What about you? Yes. I'd like you guys to check out my my content writing clients, you know, our website, tech.wtf. That's there's a name ko. It's uh, our slogan is welcoming the future, and it's uh, we cover technology that makes you go, wow, <laughs> pwede, pwede pala yan. It's uh, uh, this is how I've translated going after what gives me fire. This is part of that map, and we hope that uh, what brought us fire brings you fire as well. 
So meron din uh, secondly, meron meron a few names I have here na nagpapa nagpapa <laughs> acknowledge. So si Roman Matiginas, Elizabeth Godinez, Editha Ragajo. It's, it's, uh, this is going to make it make the video extra special for you kasi ano, na, nasali yung name. <laughs> <laughs> and then si, si Jojo ibawatan na may question na na bury uh, maybe ano mag PM tayo after na lang and ang na, nakalimutan nating i-mention if you're looking for the one or if you're a single looking to network with fellow freelancers meron tayong singles meet up event I, I, ano ooh yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah talk about that i don't know the logistics of <laughs> <laughs> so, si fellow freelancer natin, si Mark Bilosa of the VAB team, is organizing a meet-up, a singles meet-up for five, five single male freelancers and five female single freelancers. Uh, I'm sure if hahanapin mo, makikita mo, it's there in our group. Hindi ako ang organizer, yeah? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, on no February way, do you? Yeah. yeah. February 8th, you Saturday. If I was there with you, I would so go if I were only there in, in the same island. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it would be so there if you were. I won't. Island. I have a girlfriend. Itong bang ato. Announce it, nowhere. Please uh, tell us more about that. Um, naka, naka post just sa comments below ni Mahar. Uh, it's on February 8th, Saturday. Uh, it's our first ever single meetup uh, so flip wide. Free oh, up yeah. your afternoon and schedule from 5 p.m. onwards and head on to Makati. Kasi magsi speed dating, mag group dating, magsi socialize, mag network, everything dating, everything fun, everything dudes. <laughs> So, ayan. Go there and mingle with your fellow freelancers. Magalitan na ako sa girlfriends mo. <laughs> and I, I, hopefully, makita na kayo ng forever para hindi ni na need mag-attend ng singles meetup. Si si Phoenix yung leader niya dyan. Kasi March. Ay, sabay ka nun. <laughs> <laughs> hindi nga. Talagang feeling ko kasi March na. Akala ko tapos na yung February na yan. Yun naman ang naisip ko. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, anything more to add, uh, everybody? Hmm? Anything more to add? The uh, dudes, Ivy, Liora. Yes. Again, there is no barrier. Hmm. There you go. So, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, yung sinasabi nga nila, I I encourage you all to connect with everybody here, including Noe. Including Noe. Isalin nyo si Noe. So, go ahead and connect with them. Talk to Noe. Talk to dudes. Talk to Ivy. Talk to Liora. We all need yeah. each other anyway. We we help each other. And it encourages us if you come and talk to us. Hindi yun lang yung, yung kami nilang, kasi parang feeling close tuloy ang dating. Na. Basta salita na lang kami ng salita na hindi namin alam kung either it's welcome or not. So, if you want us to keep encouraging you, you also have to encourage us. Okay? So, no way. Sige, closing muna. Okay. Hindi. <laughs> Ito na saan. Na, advanced na yung closing. So, again, <laughs> <laughs> gusto, ko, gusto ko lang. Connect with me if you want to close any webinar in ahead of time. <laughs> Pero, uh... I, I, ano ko lang, reiterate ko lang. The first people to email jason at vbootcamp.ph and choose either accelerated or complete will have a discount of 1,000 nga for accelerated and 3,000 off for the, the complete package. So, ayun. See you next week. If you, if you missed the closing part of this, just review the, the line. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much for coming, and I hope to see you again Thank next you time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> again, end. <laughs>